second 3.6 to double check. Um, surface area of a square of a sphere is varied correctly with the square of its radius. So right here, and everything varies at basic and other scales. So we've got surface area versus square. This is a letter that works very well directly in this room. We would have something like lesser than a half. Directly goes on the ground plane. Directly is the square of its radius. It's the square of its radius times k. So it's a constant that's going to allow us to adjust from one to the other. Now at this point, we're going to plug stuff in and we're going to solve for k because the constant's going to be what we're going to use for the rest of the problem. So in this case, it has a radius of 12. And then a surface area of 576 pi. So that's 144 k. Divide both sides three by one hundred four. So k is going to equal four pi. So then you go to the right and you need to write this down. Just to find the variation equation of the surface area. So the variation equation for the surface area is equal to r squared. So let's just do this for a second. Four. Now, if I'm talking about the surface area of a sphere with a radius of 4, that's going to equal, because it's got 4 pi, something constant, and then I've got a radius of 4, so I have a surface area of 4. Set up the equation, find the constant, plug the constant back into the equation, and then solve for k. So the next one. Object moving in a circular path, the centripetal force varies directly as the square of the velocity and inversely as the radius of the circle. So we've got the constant. So it's a stone that is whirled at the end of the string. If you're not sure about it, draw it out. It's not a person. Traveling over here, moving this thing around, it has a radius of. Now again, if you're not sure which one's which, centimeters per second has a velocity. Centimeters is a distance. So, we have a centripetal force of 3,340,000 times. That's going to equal the velocity squared divided by the radius. So then at that point, again, you can't really divide all that out. So, um, that was easy. So, 900 squared. So, this is 1,000 divided by 50. Equals Constant's 200, that's going to go up here. Velocity squared divided by the radius. So now it's going to find the variation in the equation. In fact, it finds the triple point that extends to 175 centimeters. So we're looking at 1600 centimeters per second. So it's going to be 200 times 1500 squared.
So I'm going to click that, and then I'm also going to check the and the weight set. So that is section 3.6.